All right, good morning, guys. Woo, hello, sunshine. I know the sun is right in my face whenever I drive to work. Put my visor down. Uh, but good morning, how are you? Hello, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday, November the 4th, I believe. Uh, yeah, so it's hard for me to keep up with what the actual date is. They all just kind of run together, especially the first week of the month, which I am usually really busy at work. But we are heading to work this morning, running a little bit late. Um, it's so hard, even though I get up as early as I do for me to get everything done, get ready, get out of the house, get the animals taken care of, all of that stuff. So, you know, of course there's a line of cars coming too. But um, yeah, workout was good this morning. I got up, I did my hour on the treadmill and then I've just been doing like 60 push-ups, 60 mountain climbers, 50 donkey kicks on each leg, which is 100 total, and then 60 crunches and 60 lower leg lifts. So I've been feeling pretty good about that. It feels good to kind of get back into that routine. I did not work out yesterday, which I hate to even say that I skipped a day, but I did because y'all, I was so exhausted. Like, after the first, and the second day of the month it's just like it catches up with you and you know just working long hours trying to edit during my lunch break trying to edit whenever I get home like I was literally just falling asleep at my laptop so I did choose to get a little extra sleep yesterday which I'm not even sure if it helped to be honest it was hard for me to go back to sleep because I got up did my reading and then thought you know what I, I just I just don't have the energy today Honestly, I probably would have felt better if I'd have worked out. So, and that usually is always the case. You never regret doing a workout. You always just regret missing one or skipping one. There's never been one time that I've worked out and finished and been like, wow, I regret doing that. So, tip for the day. If you think that you'll regret it, you won't. What is that car doing? Y'all yeah, swear these cars are in here be crazy. That car is making a U-turn. I swear they almost hit the like guardrail over this little bridge thing but anyway so this week has been busy at work but good overall lots of stuff going on next week um i do have an appointment to get my eyes checked i'm actually going to the optometrist or whatever at costco because we went there um last weekend which you would have seen my costco haul i guess by now but uh, we each had to go to the bathroom. We had went to lunch right before, and then as soon as we got to Costco, I was like, I think I need to go to the bathroom before we start shopping. It was super busy in there. And so the bathroom was kind of like close to where the eyeglasses are. And so whenever I came out of the bathroom, Charlie stayed with the cart. We had already picked one item up and put it in the cart. And uh, then he went to the bathroom, and so I started looking at their frames, and I don't know how much they are, but like they had, you know, like Gucci, Coach. Um, I did find some Ray-Bans frames that I think I liked, and there was some Givenchy maybe, or Dolce & Gabbana. I can't remember what they were. But um, Charlie's like, oh, take a picture if you like one. I was like, no, I don't know which one I want yet. And I don't even know if I will get glasses. But I will say, in the past year, I can tell a significant decline in my vision, okay? And it's mostly just, it's probably from staring at the computer screens all day, um, but used to, I could still see clearly even small font or whatever, but now it's got to where even my phone is blurry to me sometimes, and I'm just like, what the heck? Like, I've never experienced that before. I've never, like, worn glasses, and I do have readers, one thing is whenever I get up early in the mornings, probably for the past couple of years, whenever I'm doing my Bible reading, I do wear readers for that. It's like my eyes aren't awake or something. But other than that, I've been able to see pretty good until this past year. And now it's like at work, I'm constantly, like I have a pair of readers that I carry in my purse with me. And like I have a pair beside the bed because even some nights just laying in the bed, 
sometimes I want to like reply to comments or whatever before I go to sleep and lots of times it's blurry I can't see and I can't see what I'm typing back sometimes so if I make a typo that's probably why but I do have that pair of glasses there now and um, we'll put those on whenever things seem blurry and it's not all the time it's weird anywho with all that being said she may say I don't really need glasses to wear all the time that I just need to wear my readers and that's perfectly fine but I do feel like I need to get my eyes checked it's probably been three or four years since I've had an eye check eye exam whatever you call it so we're gonna go get them tested everybody told me once you hit your mid 40s you know your vision's just gonna go and I was like no it's not I can see perfectly fine here I am 47 it makes me mad because I've never had to wear glasses or anything. It also makes me feel old. And I don't like feeling old. I want to feel young. That's one reason I don't like for like my body to ache whenever I get up. I'm like, I'm trying to defy the hands of time, I guess. And I can't, it is what it is. But, so yeah, next week I do have that. And then I think that I have another doctor's appointment. And I'm doing all of these like on my lunch break, so I won't be able to edit on those days on my lunch breaks, but hopefully the rest of the week it'll be a much calmer week than this week and I can actually feel a little bit more ahead. I constantly feel behind. Like if you haven't watched my 4 a.m. morning routine, like I'm constantly just rushing around like that for everything that I do, you know, getting ready you know, trying to edit, trying to get stuff up, whatever it is. It's just like, and I don't know if it's the procrastinator in me or what, but it does take me forever to get ready, y'all. I don't know why. I mean, literally, I have to have two hours, two hours, and I try to cut it down, and I think I just lose time. And maybe it's because I'm like watching YouTube videos while I'm getting ready. Maybe I spend too much time looking at the screen and not paying attention to what I'm doing. But the whole time, I'm constantly... I'm constantly working, you know, I'm constantly doing something. <laughs> I don't know how people get up and get ready in like 30 minutes to an hour or whatever. I wished I could. That would be one of my goals. I have two goals that's non-weight loss related or fitness related. One is to clean all of the crap out of my house that I do not need, that I do not use. That includes clothes. That includes stuff that's stored in the attic. That includes stuff that I've just held on to just in case. Now, I hope that I, the hoarder in me feels like I will regret any decision to get rid of anything. So, let's hope not. I hope my battery doesn't die. These cars go so slow, I swear I can't hardly ever get to work. Everybody just pokes along. But yes, those are my two goals in life. One is to speed up the time that it takes me to get ready. And the other is to be a little bit more minimalistic. <laughs> Could y'all see me being a minimalist? Is that how you say that? Um, I can't even say the word, let alone do it. And it's not that I want to be like a true minimalist and like just live with the bare necessities or whatever, but I do want to simplify things. I want to have less crap in my way, less things to clean up, you know, just, it's just a lot. And as I've changed over the years, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. So just cleaning out, simplifying my life, simplify. I think it will simplify my mind to an extent. And I think that's what I want to try to really do in this next year, which, you know, I feel like I have simplified like the foods that I eat, you know, the way that we eat. I know that a lot of people don't want to eat the same things all the time. Um, I'm perfectly fine with it. Charlie and I actually enjoy just having the two meals each week. And we don't have to cook during the week. I had a weird comment on my Facebook post or something the other day. It's like, oh my gosh, how can you do that? How can you, you, you can literally live your life and eat good and, you know, still lose weight, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I eat good. I do. All I do is eat healthy fruits and vegetables and lean meats. I just choose to simplify our meal prepping process instead of having to meal prep five different dinners or, you know, buy five different things for lunches or whatever. Like for breakfast, literally, y'all, I've had bacon and eggs mm, 
for many, many, many years. Many years. Way before even my weight loss surgery. So, back when I used to try to do low carb. And then after my weight loss surgery, once I could like eat again, I went right back to my bacon and eggs. It's just always been a staple. If I eat carbs at breakfast, it like makes me hungrier for the rest of the day. But anyway, I don't want anybody to think that Charlie and I are not eating good and not enjoying our life because we do. Um, we have an extremely busy life. We do not get home. I mostly don't get home until after six o'clock every day. Some days I get to leave right at five, but I have an extremely busy job and Charlie, you know, we never know how late he's going to work. They may call nine hours, 10 hours. We don't know. He just texted me this morning. He has to work Saturday, and then they've added another Saturday, um, which I don't know what that means, if that's the next one or what. So he could be working like the next three Saturdays in a row. So that's one reason that I choose to simplify my meal prepping process. And I just put my videos out there just to give y'all ideas and, you know, different recipes. And one reason that I think I kind of started doing it this way because it all just didn't start that way. I just kind of ended up with this being our process. Most recipes, if you look at them, are for six servings. So that's one reason is because if I wanted to make, you know, a skinny taste recipe or whatever, the recipe is for six servings. And so that's where I was like, huh. So if I just do two meals, you know, six servings of each, then that will cover us for the six nights a week. And then we enjoy our Saturday, whether or not we order in food, go out to eat food, whatever. But as I always say, I never judge anyone for the way that they choose to eat. If you want to eat something different for every single meal, every single day of your life, then that is perfectly fine. But I just want to clarify that we actually enjoy the way that we eat. And we can't imagine not having our meals prepped now because it is so much easier, so much easier. So, just wanted to point that out there for anybody who thinks, oh, poor Jennifer, she's just eating the same two meals for dinners every day. I am, but don't feel sorry for me because number one, it's what I choose to do, and number two, it's what works for me and for Charlie with our schedules. You know, I barely have time most nights whenever I get home to change, eat my dinner, and have any time to edit or anything like that. It is constantly, I'm constantly working, okay? So if I had to go home and make a meal, I think I would die. And on that note, I'm going to sign off because I am here at work, make sure my car is in park. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow for grocery hauling stuff. I really don't know how tomorrow's going to go because Charlie's working. We may or may not be getting the kids tonight. We'll see. Love you guys. Talk to y'all later. All right, guys. Good morning. It is Saturday. Well, it's 11.45, so it's almost afternoon. I'm getting ready to make my lunch. Um, we had the grandkids last night. I have a hair on my lip or something. Anyway, we had the grandkids last night and they just got picked up. I finished getting ready. I was like halfway through. And so I have my grocery pickup scheduled for 2.30. No, 2 to 2.30, I think. And I'm going to try to eat real quick and run to Marshall's. And then that way I can get a little bit of shopping done. There's something I want to look for for um, some people for Christmas there. And, you know, just look for myself too. But I'm going to try not to buy too much stuff for myself. I'm going to try to focus on Christmas gifts. But, anywho, um, I just wanted to jump on here and say hello. I haven't talked to y'all since yesterday. Nothing much has happened. Worked all day. Had the kids last night. Uh, they were good. This was the first time that, like, I've had them overnight and then had them by myself, both of them. Uh, so this morning, I mean, I've been up since like four o'clock, but it's all good. Y'all know I'm going to take a nice long nap. I'm so behind on my editing though. Like that's one reason I'm like trying to hurry. I'm fixing to put my pizza together, put it in the oven and eat real quick, run to Marshall's and stuff. That way I can get my groceries, get back. And then I'm going to edit, you know, when I want to take a nap and then I'll probably spend the rest of the night editing because this week was crazy at work. Um, I missed like three days of lunch from editing. So that really put me behind. 
But I mean, I do, I can stay up later tonight and edit as long as I need to. I'm probably a third of the way through my meal prep video, but, and I know that I don't have to put it up on Sunday, but I do like to put it up on Sunday because that is the day that I meal prep. So my battery is flashing. I'm going to make my pizza real quick, change my battery, be right back. Okay, so I thought I would just go ahead and show how I make my pizza, super simple. And it's a four point pizza, so. You can't beat it. And I like to use NLA Extreme Wellness Wrap. And this is just for anybody that's new here. I know that a lot of people have been around for a while. And y'all have seen me make these a hundred times. But some people have not. That's kind of folded. Hopefully it'll be okay. So I just use one Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap. And then I just use a couple of tablespoons of the Prego Pizza Sauce. A fourth of a cup is one point. So yeah, to me, two tablespoons is plenty, and I don't even think that it is a fourth of a cup, but I do still count it as one point. And then I do two servings of the fat-free mozzarella cheese. I'm just going to eyeball it today because today is my treat day. So if I go over a little bit, I don't really care. And if I didn't say it earlier, Charlie is at work, and it is probably going to be the next three Saturdays he's probably going to have to work if I had to guess until Thanksgiving but anywho and then I do oh, the two servings of cheeses a point and then I do a point's worth of the boar's head turkey pepperoni I do not like any other brand of turkey pepperoni and this is one point per serving and you get 16 slices in a serving but I do know that the boar's head is a little bit pricier, but I do think that it's worth it. I mean, honestly, everything's pricier nowadays. Okay, and then I give Sophie and Ozzy each a pepperoni. They are waiting for them. And then I like to sprinkle some of my diced bell peppers that I prep, or that Charlie preps technically on Sundays for us. And then I like to use the Chef Prude Homes Pizza and Pasta Magic. And I do a pretty generous sprinkle of that. I used to put basil on here too, but I don't really do that anymore. I just use this one and it is perfect. So here is my little pizza. In the oven, we're going 350 degrees for 15 to 16 minutes. So pizza's in the oven. I'm gonna clean up this mess a little bit and try to organize a little bit. The house is a disaster. I mean a complete disaster. I don't really have a lot of time to clean it up, but I need to pick up some toys and just kind of put things back to where we're used to it like the coffee table doesn't have anything on it and everything so i'm going to do a little bit of organization and then i probably will see y'all once i get back from shopping and then i'll show y'all my groceries and whatever i get from marshall's as well maybe depends on if it's all just gifts we'll see if i can show it or not okay guys i am back with the groceries as you can see behind me nico uh -oh. is inspecting it um if you hear the dogs they just came in from outside it is super windy outside i mean my hair has been blown all over the place so i ran to marshall's and then i went into the vitamin shop and then i went and picked up my groceries so i'm going to show you my grocery haul and then i'll show you what i got at the other places that way i can get my groceries put away but uh, before i do my meal plan this week so i'm going to do the butterball turkey sausage that i like to slice up and just cook in the oven with the diced potatoes i will see season that up with the cajun seasoning make them nice and spicy and then the brussels sprouts so um i love that meal i've tried that several times highly recommend and then and the other meal i'm gonna try this skinny taste recipe it's basically just chicken but it called for hot cherry peppers which kroger did not have so i got some red roasted peppers and then like some sweet peppers so we'll see if i can you know make do with that and kind of follow the recipe we'll see but uh yeah it kind of sounded good to me hot cherry peppers i don't know what i'm going to pair with it probably some rice and green beans or something like that so those are kind of the plans for my two meals i don't really have a plan for um, dessert yet i may make some of my chocolate cookies i still have like half a can of pumpkin left over from last week so i need to use that and i could definitely use that and make my cookies so with all that being said let's do the grocery haul okay nico you've inspected everything you got to get down stop licking the ice cream okay y'all this cat get up get up 
Alrighty, so here are the groceries. So I got this big pack of chicken, which these used to run like $10, just so you know, but it was $16.68, I guess. Uh, so almost double in price, but it's been a minute since I picked up a big pack of chicken. We'll probably only use three of the chicken breasts, and then we will freeze the other ones. I did get a pack of bacon. I got two things of this Butterball um, turkey sausage. It's really good. We just slice it up into thin rings, put it flat on a sheet pan, bake it in the oven. It's kind of a one oven meal because we will dice up the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts and bake them all at the same time. So, um, very easy meal, very tasty as well. Uh, I did get me a boar's head turkey pepperoni. This week I got Charlie some boar's head black forest ham instead of his other. He feels like that Hillshire Farms or whatever that he normally eats has been going bad quicker. Um, and y'all know, I'm just a boar's head fan. I'm sorry. I, I like it. And once you try it, it's hard to go back. So, uh, I did get my boar's head Sausalito turkey breast per usual. Um, I did get Halo Top ice cream this week. Um, instead of something odd like I did last week, that was funny. Uh, I got two of my Califia Farms almond milk, some eggs, and some Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, I did pick me up some carrots. I'm thinking about making me some hummus. I still have a can or two of the garbanzo beans, and so I was thinking I might make up some hummus to take as a snack with the carrots. In the afternoons, I tend to want like a crunchy snack for some reason at work, so I thought this might be a healthier alternative. Obviously, it would be zero points. Um, I did get some bananas this week. I probably won't use all of them. I got like five bananas and three apples. Um, I have been liking taking the apples to work, but then I also wanted some bananas to kind of be ripe for next weekend to maybe make a banana bread or something like that for dessert. So that was the idea on getting the bananas. Um, I got my Brussels sprouts, and then these are the potatoes that we like to use, these little petite gold potatoes. And then I did get my bell peppers as normal. I got my cantaloupe and my two pineapples. I did forget my blueberries, and I actually remembered that before I went. I'm going to have to send Charlie back to maybe make an exchange. But um, here are the two kinds of peppers I got. Sweet cherry peppers. So these are cherry peppers. They're just not spicy. So those are mild ones. And then I got the roasted red peppers. So I don't really know what those two flavors would taste like together. Again, I've never made that recipe. It just sounded good whenever I saw it online. I got us two packs of the multigrain rolls for our sandwiches this week since we will both be eating sandwiches. And then Charlie's some Chips Ahoy cookies and his Pop-Tarts. And this is a substitution. Normally I get green leaf lettuce. I did accept the substitution. I don't mind the red leaf lettuce, but uh, it's, looking, it's looking a little funky to me on the ends there. So I may have Charlie take this back tomorrow and exchange it and see if he can get a green leaf lettuce that looks good or a red leaf lettuce that looks good. And maybe it's just the red on it. I don't know. But it does look like it's a, going a little bad down here on the ends. So not 100% happy with that. Um, we'll see. But regardless, he's going to have to run and get the blueberries for me. Um, and yeah, I guess that's all the groceries. Let me put these up real quick and then I'll show you my other stuff. Okay, and here is my tiny little Marshalls haul. I actually didn't spend that much money because I had two things that I returned, but I did get me a new pair of shoes. Just these little booties. I kind of like them. They're kind of soft and a suede feeling. Um, I really hate sometimes shoes like hurt my toes. So these felt kind of soft and good whenever I tried them on. Um, I did pick up this skillet, which I actually already have one just like it. I've had it for years. And the Teflon coating or whatever on it has pretty much worn off all in the middle of it. And Charlie made the comment the other day, you need to get you another one of these because we always see them at Marshall's. So I did go ahead and pick another one up because I have really worn the other one out. I pretty much use it to kind of make my scrambled eggs in. It's kind of my egg pan. So whenever I make my big batch, it's perfect. Um, and then I did pick up some more of this um, trail mix. I love this brand. You can order it on Amazon as well, but it is always cheaper if you can find it at Marshall's or TJ Maxx or something. And then that's all that I got at Marshall's. And then I went to the vitamin store because I wanted some greens. I've never heard of this brand. I've never tried this brand, but it is watermelon flavor and it says it gives you energy. So I thought that I would try it. Um, I'm out of my teamy greens and out of my um, watermelon BCAAs. So this is watermelon greens. So we'll give it a go this week and see how I like it. It's like 40 something dollars. So um, hopefully I do. Regardless if I do or not, then I will order some more of those watermelon B 
um, BCAAs and mix in there with it. But um, anywho, that is all that I got at the vitamin store. So now we're going to get busy. Aren't we, Ozzy? What are you doing? Huh? You ready to get busy? No, you're not? Okay, guys, I will check in with you later. I don't know if we'll end up um, ordering food or what. I have no idea what time Charlie is getting off work, but I have to start editing some. I'm so behind. So I'm going to get comfy, go in here, edit, get some work done, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey everyone, so this is future Jennifer inserting this into this video because I wasn't sure exactly when this video was going to go up, but it is going to go up the week before Thanksgiving and you know there's going to be lots of Black Friday sales and Teddy Blake is going to have an awesome Black Friday sale. I will have my direct link down in the description box and all of the information. They are not sponsoring this video or anything, but if you do use my code then I would receive a small commission. So with that being said, I was just going to show y'all my Teddy Blake purse again. Um, just so that you can see how great it looks and how it has held up over time. I do switch my purses out probably, you know, I'll carry like one for a month or whatever and I've used this one several times and it has held up great. So let me show it to you. All right guys, so here is my beautiful Teddy Blake bag um, in this beautiful camel color. I love this bag. I was super happy with my choice. Um, here is the inside of the bag. It has held up quite well. It does have an inside pocket here and then also a zippered pocket over here on this side as well. And this is actually quite a large bag. Um, they have smaller bags. They have all different kinds of styles and everything. So if you want to get yourself something for Christmas, like I always like to gift myself something for Christmas or get something for a loved one or a friend or whoever, then be sure to check out Teddy Blake's um, Black Friday sale. Overall, this is superior quality. Um, it is still in great shape. And again, they have all different styles and everything. I love this color specifically this camel color um i don't know there's just something about this bag that i was drawn to whenever i looked at it so i know that um anyone would love to receive one of these and and you might love one for yourself so yeah be sure to check out my link down below thanks guys so it is many hours later it is 7 15 p.m charlie actually got home right after my last clip with y'all i was getting ready to you know, get it dark in here, settle down for my cozy time, take my nap, and here he comes in the door. So he has been home for a while. I took a nice long nap. I'm not mad about it. Uh, I woke up about six o'clock or so, I think. So I'm sitting here editing, and um, we just picked up some Mexican food. I just wanted to show you my sauteed chicken and stuff. And then I want to do a quick meal prep review of our meals from this past week because we haven't done that in a while. And Charlie really liked um, the, ragu. the beef ragu, the skinny taste recipe. So let me show you my dinner real quick. So here is the sauteed chicken. I know I always talk about this, but y'all, it is so good. It is just grilled chicken and bell peppers, poblano peppers, stuff like that. And then the rice. I never really eat this stuff that comes along with it. And of course, I do have some chips and some queso. I am editing my video. Charlie has the exact same thing. Oh, it does come with uh, tortillas, but I never eat the tortillas. I just eat the meat and the peppers. So, what was your favorite meal last week? Uh, ragu meal. That beef ragu. Mm -hmm. So, that was a skinny taste recipe, and it was delicious. It had, what, like a different kind of taste to it or something. I don't know what made it better than just normal. I mean, it had the carrots. it with the Parmesan cheese. Too. Yeah, the Parmesan cheese helped, and it had the carrots and the celery in there. And then I think that sweet chicken sausage, that one sweet chicken sausage link, kind of gave it a different flavor as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's really good. yeah, and then the chili was good this week too. Charlie had hot dogs every night with his chili. I did not have hot dogs, but uh, yeah, so it was a good meal prep week. Uh, I was really surprised myself by how good that beef ragu was, so I would definitely recommend making that one. Um, and then the chili, of course, it, that one's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, chili's chili. It's chili season. This was Halloween week, so that's one reason that I made chili this week. And uh, Charlie got to enjoy having hot dogs and everything every night. But I'm going to go ahead and close out the video here. I love you guys, and I will chat with you all in the next video. Bye.